Hey guys, it's Sailor and I'm here with another video. In this video, I'm just going to be quickly showing you guys how to download G-Shade and find presets and put them in your game. Hopefully I explain it well enough that it's easy to understand. It can be a little difficult, so hopefully I do a good job in explaining it to you guys. But anyways, I'm not going to ramble too long. We're going to hop right into the video. So to start, you just look up G-Shade. And it'll be this one right here. I will link it in the description box. I deleted G-Shade so I could do the entire process over with you guys. So you just click download. I have Windows, so I'm gonna click that. Um, nothing is wrong with G-Shade, so you can ignore that. So then when you click on it, it will install. I just select yes. And then this will pop up. You will put in with whatever language you speak. I speak English. You can read all of this. Click agree. And then you want to put the path that you want to set it for. So I play The Sims and I'm sure you're watching this for The Sims. So that's how you would put it in your game and how you find it. So you just click browse, program files. The Sims 4 game bin and The Sims 4. Then you're going to click next. Um, you will have to see if your PC is a 32 or 64. So the way you find out if your computer is 32 bit or 64 is you just go to your settings, look for the about. And then you will see right here, mine is 64 for your system type. So I will leave it on 64. I leave all of this stuff alone. And I click install. And it will begin installing. I leave this like this, but this is just asking you, whenever you take a screenshot in G-Shade, where do you want your screenshots to go? I will just have it go to the pictures and that's it. So now it is in your game. You can double check by click right clicking, open files, and you'll be able to see it right here. So then you want to click on G Shade Presets, Custom, and this is where you're going to put your um your G shades. So I already have some, but I will show you guys where you can get some as well. So we're going to go to L Chris and just download one from her. Sure. So there are many different G shades that you can download by different creators, but this is just one that I know of. So all you do is click the link. We're gonna allow it to download anyways. So we're gonna come grab it from our downloads folder and place it into there. And then we're going to open up Sims and take a look. Okay, so this will pop up, letting you know that it was installed properly. So you will click shift and then backspace to make it pop up so that you can change your G-Shade preset or you can alter the one that you have downloaded already. There's many different things that you can change in the settings and I will show you guys that. Okay. So here we are in game with no G shade. So you're going to click shift and backspace. So your, it would be off. You wouldn't have a preset on when you first um, open it. So it will be off just in case you open it and you're on one of these other tabs. Just be sure that you click on home. So you want to make sure you click on this bar and all of your G shades that you have put in will pop up here. But just in case you don't open it and it is immediately there, you would want to click G shade presets 
custom and then it'll bring you right back here so when you click on them it will pop up these are all the settings that you have on or that the creator put on for that G shade. And when you click on them, you are able to see the settings and you're able to alter them to your liking, which is why this is the one I downloaded to show you guys. I'm going to click shift and F3 to turn it on. This is a latte by Elkris that I downloaded just to show you guys. So, you know, you just click on it and it'll pop up but what you are able to do is you are able to go in each setting and alter it to your liking you'll be able to see the name of everything you're changing so you, as you can see here mxao is checked on when you check it off shading changes but you can see also right here, this is MXAO and these are the settings that I have for it. So you can see this one is at zero, but if I change it, you can see it changing. So that is what the settings do. You can also go to the settings button and you can change what the keys do. So just like shift backspace will make this thing appear and disappear. You can change that if you would like the toggle button which is shift f3 you can change that and you can also change how to um, take a screenshot so I'm going to show you guys how you can change your settings so all you want to do is click on it backspace it and then do what you want it to do and what I mean by that is you just click the keys and it will pop up so for a screenshot I want it to be shift 2 so that's what I'm going to click so I click shift to and then it'll pop up and that's how you'll be able to take a screenshot so shift to and you can also change the path the screenshot takes so I am gonna have it go to go to uh, this one and go into my pictures and select that and this is the path it will take now so I will take a screenshot and then as you can see it is right here the screenshots I took and then you can see that same path right there so I will now show you guys the difference so this is without G shade and then if you shift F3 this is with G shade I'll show you closer to her with, without. So you can see the shadowing as well as the shadowing on the world. So I could not play the game without G-Shade. So I highly recommend if you don't get any mods, any custom content, that you do get a G-Shade. It is just, it's such a game changer. It just makes it look so much better. Um, I played without G-Shade a lot longer than I played with G-Shade. And I just don't know how I was playing like that. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.